Yeah. Brent Metcalf, fresh off a 10-8 win over Kerber Lanayev. First off, crazy match. He could not stop the high crotch, and the gas tank got to him. What did you think of him gassing out on you a little bit there? I don't know if he's gas tank or not. I think he's sneaky, and he scored off of moves I should have been scoring on. I mean, what was 11 to 8? 11 8, I gave before there, which is probably my two if I'm smart. You know, so this six point swing. And then I had a front head like takedown, he steps over on me. So just slick moves, and really where I knew he was good, and I gotta be smarter there. Yeah, but at the end, you were able to not only take the lead when you were fit trailing, but also to, you know, show him at the end that he wasn't gonna get any more on you, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, give him credit. He didn't crush. He didn't collapse. He fought and I had to fight hard. So, you know, good I get to win, but when you hand a guy six points, me give them to him like a packaged gift, you don't feel real great about it. So he was third in the world last year. You've beaten him a few times. Where's Brent Metcalf right now stacking up? Brent Metcalf is sitting at the top of the ladder, and I still got to win the best two out of three against who, who knows. That's really all that matters right now. Making the team. Yep. Yeah. Being undefeated at the, you know, unscored upon at the U.S. Open. Do you think you've ridden the momentum of that to this? I think that this is a step back because I didn't wrestle smart. You know, I can cry. I think you watch that match, there's, like I said, six points that I have and I give to him. You add those six points, then you feel pretty good about it. Let's talk about being in Central right here in the Times Square. Obviously, you've been to the New York events before. Is it still something special to the team and to you? It's a lot of fun. You're out there wrestling, and you got a lot of support here, and you know that there's big, big time supporters in the crowd, and that makes you feel good. Outside of just the big names in our in our circles, but you know all these kids. Think, you know, you think about it. There's a lot of them here pulling for you. It makes you want to go and be, get tough on that mat for them. Dana White in the crowd. You see Dana White. You're talking about big names in the crowd that aren't wrestling world. Did you know Dana White was in the crowd? I didn't know he was there. No, I mean I I'm new to tweeter sphere, so I had saw something about he was coming. So if I could just get him to tweet me back, I'd be good, right? Then I'd be all set, is that right? So Dana, you gotta tweet me. And then I can retweet ya, and then we're tweeter friends, like this. <laughs> Did you feel like you could have thrown somebody to, and hit a taxi with a human body this time? Not this time, no, they moved us, sorry. We were, uh, we were that way. Yeah. So, but this is good, I think it gets the crowd involved more. There was less crowd there. Did you pay attention to Terry? Terry's got the Hunter Blaze orange cap on, and Kerbal and I was trying to pull some tricky, yeah. give me it some time, let me fix Well, I was more looking out. at Terry, I thought he was going to talk to me, and instead of talking to me, he's yelling at the Russians, so. <laughs> Break. So, uh, no real break. I mean, trials isn't that long from now, right? Yeah, yeah, get home. You know, get home over the next two days and Monday kick it right back off. Did Terry get you fired up when Terry was screaming at the Russians? Did it fire you up? Well, both those guys fired me up. And for me, it's more of a calming thing. It wouldn't make sense to you, maybe, but when they talk to me, it's calming. You know, if my head's doing this, and it, I zero in because of the respect and the relationship that I have with both of them, that you know, when they talk, I listen. So that takes my head that's doing this and it brings it down. You know, so as far as coach athlete relationship, I couldn't ask for more out of them. Does, okay, does it calm you even when they're screaming at the Russians? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, I'm screaming too, but I, I got to keep my cool because I'm out on the mat. So. Brent, your match really seemed to get the crowd into it. You were talking about them earlier. Did that help you at all at the end there? I think so. Yeah, like you said, you know there's a lot of people pulling for you and you feel the energy and a lot of points were put up. And that's really what it's all about. We kind of, not calling people out, but it's, it's boring. <laughs> you know, our first couple matches, the United States has a lot more firepower than that. And I think we're going to see it with the second half. So hopefully I just kick-started it. Brent, thanks for the time. Thanks a lot, Brent. You got it, guys.